Hola a todos y bienvenidos a Coffee Break Spanish. Yo soy Mark y estoy muy contento de estar aquí con ustedes, con vosotros hoy. Pues vamos a decir vosotros, somos amigos, ¿no? I am delighted to be here today for another Coffee Break Spanish Live. Now today I'm going to be joined by Concha. We've got a, a little pre-recorded segment that Concha is going to help us out with. And we're going to be doing a little bit of learning together. We're going to be guessing a mystery location based on a postcard that Concha has received. Now, if you are watching, you might be watching on the Coffee Break Spanish Facebook page, you might be watching on our Coffee Break Languages YouTube channel, or indeed the Coffee Break Spanish YouTube channel. Wherever you're watching, you're very welcome, and we're delighted to have you here. Let us know where you're watching. We've got Latifa watching us from Stockholm in Sweden. We've got Dennis watching from Las Vegas, and uh, we have, who else do we have? Yeah, we've got some more people just joining us now and signing in. So you are all very welcome today. Now, we are here to talk, yes, about Spanish language. We are going to be talking a little about um, the, the Coffee Break Club, and I'll tell you a little more about the club in just a moment. But if you have any questions about the Coffee Break Club, then I'd be delighted to answer them. Um, we will be talking through, uh, I just want to make sure that everything is working here. So can we see this? Let me see. Um, yes, we can see this, so that's good. Um, we are going to be doing a little bit of learning. As I said, we're going to be watching one of our Coffee Break Club videos, and this is a uh, Donde Me Encuentro Hoy video. Where am I today? Where do I find myself today? And we will be watching that together and then talking a little about it afterwards. And also, I'll be explaining more about the Coffee Break Club. In fact, let's explain just a little about that just now. We'll talk about the club. We're going to do a sample lesson. We're going to go through some Q&A. Um, we've got lots of questions about the club because right now we've got a special promotion on and I'll be demoing both the, the web platform and the app to let you get a feel for what it is, what's involved in the club. Now, the club came about because we wanted to create uh, a, basically the best library of learning content for language learners that there is. And we wanted to create this in a way that you would be able to access it easily. There is YouTube for video content, obviously, but YouTube, one of the problems with YouTube is there's just so much stuff on there. And you might be watching a video about Boran Para, but then there's other videos on the right-hand side that are tempting you away from your Spanish learning. So we wanted to keep that in mind as we developed this Coffee Break Club. We also were looking for inspiration from the likes of Netflix and Hulu and Prime, where these are high quality video uh, apps where you can download the content, you can watch it uh, when you're offline, you can uh, watch it on a variety of devices. And uh, really the thing that most uh, sort of struck home with us was the idea of the fitness apps. So things like Apple Fitness Plus and Peloton where you say, okay, I, I've got 20 minutes, I want to do a rowing workout, or I want to do some, uh, I don't know, some some <laughs> aerobic fitness or something like that, uh, but I've got only 20 minutes to do that, or I want to do a quick five-minute meditation, something like that. And we wanted to kind of take that idea of being able to plan your fitness and you plan your fitness journey and convert that into language learning. And that's when we came up with the club. And the club is basically an on-demand library of video lessons where you can access hundreds of video lessons with expert teachers, the activities are varied, and you can access all of this through the web platform and our app. Now, we'll be showing you more about the club in just a moment, uh, but I do want to say some hellos first of all. So we have got Trevor watching from Cambridge. Trevor, hi. We've got Sally in Sussex. Um, Jason's watching in Ireland. Uh, Katie's watching in Murcia. We've got Chuck in Virginia. We've got John. Um, I'm not sure where John is. We've got Deborah in Leicestershire. Chris is in San Diego. We've got Des from upstate New York. So we are delighted to have you here today with us, and uh, we hope that you enjoy this lesson. As I said, we're going to be joined by Concha in just a moment, and we're going to do a little reading and listening activity where we're trying to identify the mystery location from the clues that Concha is reading in the postcard that has been sent to her by another member of the Coffee Break team. And I think we should get straight on with this now. Entonces, vamos a escuchar juntos y vamos a aprender algo sobre el mundo. 
A ti, Concha. ¿Dónde me encuentro hoy? Hola, te doy la bienvenida a otro episodio de ¿Dónde me encuentro hoy? Me llamo Concha y hoy he recibido una postal de Anabel, pero no sabemos dónde está. Vamos a leer la postal juntos y luego intentar adivinar desde dónde nos escribe. Hola, Concha. Ayer aterrizamos y llegamos al hotel en barco. Fue muy divertido. Hoy hemos dado un paseíto por los canales, que son tan bonitos como en las fotos. Esta tarde tenemos un tour en góndola. Tomaremos muchas fotos. Después iremos a ver las tiendas del Puente Rialto. Quiero comprar un recuerdo bonito. Para terminar el día, vamos a cenar en uno de los restaurantes de la Plaza de San Marcos. Pienso pedirme una pizza margarita. ¿Sabes ya dónde me encuentro hoy? Saludos, Anabel. Pues esta es la postal de Anabel. Suena a que está en un lugar muy bonito. Let's try and work out what these clues mean together. Ayer aterrizamos y llegamos al hotel en barco. Fue muy divertido. Ayer aterrizamos y llegamos. These two verbs are conjugated in the preterite. Aterrizar, which is to land, and llegar, which means to arrive. They are both conjugated in the person nosotros, and they are both regular. So we can see that the conjugations match the ones in the present tense. Al hotel, to the hotel. And notice how the preposition and the article here become one word. As you may remember, this happens when we have the preposition a and the article el. And then we have en barco, which means by boat. But notice the preposition en here. We use en to refer to means of transport. Fue muy divertido. In this case, we have the verb fue, which is the verb ser, in the preterite. And then we have muy divertido, which is very fun. And I want to stop here for a minute because we use the preterite and not the imperfect in this case. This is because we are talking about a one-off event. We are not really describing how the event was. We're just saying what we think about this event. And it's a one-off, is finished. So we use the preterite. So, yesterday we landed and we arrived to the hotel by boat. It was very fun. Okay, so they arrived by boat. I think I know where this is heading. But let's move on to the next clue. Hoy hemos dado un paseíto por los canales, que son tan bonitos como en las fotos. Hoy hemos dado un paseíto. Hoy triggers the perfect tense, which is more used in Spain. But if you said hoy dimos, that would also be correct. The verb we are using here is dar, and is part of the expression dar un paseo, which means to go for a walk. Only here we are using the suffix ito, which changes the meaning to go for a little walk or go for a little wonder. So, hemos dado un paseíto, we have gone for a little wonder. Por los canales. In this case, we have the preposition por, and this is one of the main uses of this preposition, is when we talk about an approximate location. So we are not heading towards a specific point, but rather we are just going for a wander around an area. Que son, which are, tan bonitos como en las fotos. In this case, we have a comparison structure. So as pretty as in the pictures. The comparison structure is tan plus an adjective plus como, and we use this for equality. So, as, pretty as, tan bonitos como. Notice how bonitos is an adjective that refers to canales, and therefore it needs to be masculine and plural. Okay, so boats, canals, I think we have an idea, but we need a little bit more information. So, let's move on to the next clue. Esta tarde tenemos un tour en góndola. Tomaremos muchas fotos. Esta tarde, this evening, tenemos un tour en góndola. This is the verb tener, and notice how we use the present. This is because we are talking about a future plan, 
but we use the present when this plan is scheduled. So we have a specific time, a specific date, when we are going to do something. And in this case, the plan is un tour en góndola, so a góndola tour, which sounds lovely. Tomaremos muchas fotos. This is the verb tomar, and in this case, we are conjugating it in the future. So this isn't a plan, but rather we have the intention of taking a lot of pictures. Muchas fotos. Oh, that sounds like a lovely plan. What else did Annabel say? Después, iremos a ver las tiendas del Puente Rialto. Quiero comprar un recuerdo bonito. Después, iremos a ver. Later, we will go see. This is again a non-scheduled plan, so the future is perfectly used here. Las tiendas del Puente Rialto, the shops of Rialto's Bridge. Quiero comprar, I want to buy, un recuerdo bonito. A pretty memento or a pretty souvenir. Okay, I think it's pretty clear already, but let's have a look at our last clue. Para terminar el día, vamos a cenar en uno de los restaurantes de la Plaza de San Marcos. Pienso pedirme una pizza margarita. Para terminar el día, this is one of the main uses of para, which is when it means to. So, to finish, the verb terminar, to finish. El día, the day. Vamos a cenar en uno de los restaurantes de la Plaza San Marcos. So we are going to have dinner in, quite literally, one of the restaurants de la Plaza San Marcos of the San Marcos Square. Pienso pedirme una pizza margarita. So this is translated as I am going to order a pizza margarita. In this case, Annabel expresses this in a particular way. She is very sure of her desire to order a pizza margarita and she conveys this by using the verb pensar, which, when it's followed by an infinitive, indicates that the speaker is determined to do something. And she also uses the pronoun me, so it's even more clear. I am determined to order this pizza for myself. Bueno, yo creo que está claro. ¿Sabes dónde se encuentra Anabel? Anabel está en Venecia. She is in Venice. ¿Alguna vez has estado ahí? Házmelo saber en los comentarios. Soy Concha y te doy las gracias por participar en este juego conmigo. I will be back soon with another postcard, pero hasta entonces, happy coffee breaking. So there you have it. Did you guess that it was Venice? I know that some of you did from the comments. I hope that you have enjoyed this. And I think the important thing here is that that video only really lasted about eight minutes. And uh, I wonder what else you could have done in those eight minutes that would have been useful and that you would have learned something from, because I think we very easily waste time <laughs> doing a variety of things and it's so easy to waste a little bit of time, but that time can be used so effectively with a little bit of learning and uh, a little bit of learning in an organized way like what we've just seen. I thought one of the most important things that uh, we saw in there was that pensar plus the infinitive. So. Pienso hacer algo. Mm, esta tarde yo pienso comer pizza. I think I'm going to eat some pizza tonight, just like uh, what, what Annabel was doing in, in Venice with the pizza margarita in the Piazza San Marco. So I hope you've enjoyed trying to identify this location, but most importantly, picking up on some of those language points that we covered there in the video. Now, as I said, this uh, session, this live session, is centred around our Coffee Break Club, which is uh, an on-demand library of hundreds of these kind of videos. And I'm going to talk through some of the different types of videos that we have available in the library um, now. So we've got SIP videos. These are study, investigation and practice, because at Coffee Break we like to learn SIP by SIP. Um, and in these grammar videos we study a particular concept, then we investigate it further by looking into to in more detail and then do some practice together with perhaps a translation exercise or a challenge. We also have our postcard videos like you've just seen, Identify the Mystery Location, so Donde Me Encuentro Hoy, and there are lots of episodes of this and building all the time with more episodes, giving you practice uh, in, the, the, in the, the language that's used, but also having a little bit of fun trying to identify that location. 
we have our five minute learning series and uh, in our five minute learning series we have reading texts we have translation challenges we've got vocabulary videos a whole range of content that you can do in just five minutes and do something really useful in those five minutes we have our discover the world videos where you are learning something interesting about the world but through the context of the spanish language we have a coffee break with where normally I am in the studio with someone else. So, uh, for example, they're with Annabelle and we talk about idiomatic expressions or particular grammar points. We also have added recently our dictation challenges on the request of Coffee Break Club members. Um, you said that you wanted some more practice with writing in the language. And so with the dictation videos, we're challenging, challenging you to write down what you hear and uh, that is a really good way to practice your language skills. Um, and we also have just added a brand new series. This is Coffee Break Al Sol. Um, so where we're looking at a series of interesting verbs, giving you examples of those verbs. Uh, so for example, the, the, the one that you see on the screen there, acostumbrarse a hacer algo, or acostumbrarse a algo, when you get used to something or you get used to doing something. Um, so these are all filmed in sunshine. It's usual coffee break uh, content, but with added sunshine and beautiful locations. Um, so those are a brand new series that, uh, that started last week on the club um, and uh, we continue to add new content all the time. Now, the pricing of the club is $19.99 per month. Now, although we are based in the UK, um, the club is hosted on a platform that's hosted in the US. So that's why we have to sell the club in US dollars. If you're thinking about $19.99, uh, that is uh, roughly... Um, let me just see, it's about £15.70 in the UK. Um, so that would be uh, the, the price monthly. Now, that's the normal price. At the moment, however, until tomorrow, we have a special offer on, on the club. And that means that you can get it just for thirteen ninety nine for your first month. So you can try it out at a hugely reduced rate, 30% uh, off that and you can try it out. So if you stuck with it for a whole year, that would be $234. But if you prefer, you can pay the annual fee, and that would be normally $200 or $199.99. But there's a special price on that because again, we're offering 30% off that, giving you access to all of the club content for just $139.99 for the year. Um, so that again is dollars, and to give you an idea of uh, the the UK price, the British price for that, um, that would be £110 roughly um, for the whole year. Now, if you think about that and divide that by 365 days, if you're doing one of these activities every day or two activities a day, you can do many activities in the day. Every day, you're just paying 38 cents or about 30p for accessing the club. And uh, let's face it, if you were going out for a coffee, you'd pay an awful lot more than 30p or 30 cent, 38 cents for a coffee. So that is the club. I've got some questions and answers here that we've been sent over the course of the past few days while we've been running this promotion. And if you've got any questions uh, about the club, then please do post them in the chat and I'd be very happy to answer them. Um, equally, if you're a member of the club already, then let the other people know here uh, what you enjoy about being part of the Coffee Break Club, because that would be very useful too. So first of all, how many videos are in the library? Well, actually, I can show you this. Um, if I go to here, I believe you can see the Coffee Break Club now. So this is the club itself, and you can see the latest videos. There's some free samples there. Um, most popular videos, Coffee Break Club French videos, uh, German videos, Italian videos, and Spanish videos. So if we go to our Spanish videos and click on See All and start scrolling through this, uh, what happens is we get to the bottom and more videos load in and we get to the, vo the bottom again, more videos load in and it just keeps going. There are hundreds of videos, uh, well over 750 videos across the four languages in the club at the moment. Um, and they're all different types. You can see there's some Al Sol, there's Dictation, there's Donde Me Encuentro Hoy, there are some five minute videos here and so on. And all of that content is constantly growing. We're constantly adding new videos to the library um, and designing new types of videos too. Is the subscription for one language or multiple languages? Well, the prices that I quoted there, those the $13.99 for your first month or $139.99, $139.99 for your first year. 
uh, those are the subscription prices for all of the languages on the club. Um, so that's French, German, Spanish and Italian. So if you're learning more than one language, you can access them all uh, within the, the club. Um, can I access, for example, Coffee Break Italian Season 1 within my club subscription? So this is quite important because if you have purchased Coffee Break Italian Season 1 or Coffee Break Spanish in this case, Season 1, on the Coffee Break Academy, then you can access those same videos within the Coffee Break Club platform and the Coffee Break Club app. However, if you've not purchased that on the Coffee Break Academy, they're not part of your subscription. The subscription is for all of these uh, club videos. So the club videos is what you're paying for. So it's in a sense like Amazon Prime, where in Amazon Prime um, you have access to a subscription um, which gets you access to some series and so on, but there are some films that you would have to pay additionally for. So if you have access to the club, you get access to all of the club videos, but if you wanted to take Coffee Break Italian Season 1, you wanted to start learning Italian from scratch, then that would be in the Coffee Break Academy and it would be a separate purchase. What's the difference between the Coffee Break Club and the Coffee Break Academy? So our Coffee Break Academy is where we have our kind of traditional courses um, which go from lesson one to lesson 40 with video, audio, lesson notes and so on. The club is this on-demand library of videos to help you maintain your level or to, to deepen your level at that intermediate level. Um, and is the club different from Coffee Break TV? So Coffee Break TV is the platform. Um, once again, if I just show you the, the web platform there, this is the Coffee Break TV platform. Likewise, we have the Coffee Break TV app. Um, so if I just come over here, you should be able to see the Coffee Break TV app. So this is the Coffee Break TV app. And on the Coffee Break TV app and platform, you can access the Coffee Break Club. That's one of the things that's available on the Coffee Break TV app. However, there are also, you can also access if you've bought, for example, Coffee Break Portuguese season one, um, then if you've bought that in the Academy, you can also access those videos on the Coffee Break TV app, but not as part of a club subscription. You would have to have bought that in the Academy. So in terms of what's the difference between Coffee Break TV and Coffee Break Club, the Coffee Break Club is one product, if you like. I'm sorry, a fly has just flown in front of me. Um, uh, the Coffee Break Club is one product within Coffee Break TV platform and app. I hope that makes sense. Uh, let's move on. What level are the videos in the club? So most of the videos are around an A2, B1, B2 level. So an intermediate level. Um, they're not for complete beginners. If you're a complete beginner, then do the Coffee Break Season 1 uh, Spanish course in the Coffee Break Academy. But the videos in the club are to maintain your level or take yourself a little bit further when you have reached an intermediate level, as I say, A2, B1, B2. And you can uh, filter by level on uh, the, the platform too. So here are some uh, comments from some of our learners. So the club makes learning fun. I feel like I'm learning with friends and I feel part of a community. Um, another learner said, I love the fact that I can go to the platform and easily find and pick content that's right for my level of energy and curiosity on a given day. There's no excuse not to practice consistently when the options are so flexible and the content is so engaging and the presenters are also delightful. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so another question, are there lesson notes or audio materials? So on the Coffee Break uh, club, there aren't lesson notes. If you want lesson notes, then our courses on the Coffee Break Academy provide those. But on the club, uh, this is different. It's the on-demand video library. For how long do I have access to the materials? So just like a Netflix subscription, if you stop your subscription, you will no longer have access to the materials. However, it will continue until the end of your subscription. So if you subscribe today, and uh, because you don't want any further payments going out, unsubscribe tomorrow, you will still have access for that first month if you've paid for a month. Equally, if you've bought a year's access and you don't want a further payment going out in a year's time, then you can you can uh, cancel it immediately, but you will still have access for the duration of your subscription that you've paid for. Can I download the videos to my device? Absolutely. Um, so if I just switch back over to um, the app here. So within the app, you can download videos. Let's say you wanted to download this particular video. You just tap on the three uh, dots there, download video, and that's then stored on your device um, for a month. So for example, if you're going 
to uh, you're going on a flight or something like that, you can download some content and they will be accessible from within your account. Um, you can just go to your uh, downloads and uh, there you have the videos that you've uh, downloaded there uh, in your download section. Um, so a couple of other questions here. Can I sign up using any currency? The Coffee Bake Club is only available in US dollars, but you can of course buy from anywhere in the world and that payment will be converted at the time of purchase. Can I upgrade an existing monthly account to a yearly membership? Yes, you can indeed. Um, you can uh, simply do so from the, uh, the website. Um, so if I just come back over here, um, you would go to the dashboard up here and uh, choose your membership there and uh, upgrade there. That's very straightforward to do. And can I cancel at any time? Yes, you can. I've already explained that. Um, and just a few other comments here. The Coffee Break method of dedicating just a few minutes a day to language instead of big blocks of time has been life-changing and so accessible to me. The Coffee Break TV app helps me get in more learning than I otherwise would. My goal is to use it daily so that I can get a good balance between grammar, vocabulary and other fun videos. Um, someone else said, the club really helps me to, to motivate me. If I don't feel up to doing a full lesson in the academy but still want to keep up with my language practice, a five or ten minute lesson in the club is perfect and I often go on to do another one or two videos afterwards. It's also great to see the teachers face to face as it makes it feel more immersive and interactive. And one more, the club allows me to stay consistent if short on time and gives me some quick exercises to get me processing the language faster. <laughs> So some comments from our existing club members. Now, Chris has a question here. Chris saying, I'm confused. I'm subscribed to the Coffee Break Academy Masterclass in 2019. Am I eligible for the videos? So Chris, when you bought the Masterclass, that was a one, uh, a, an individual course purchase. So you subscribed to that during 2019. You took part in the Masterclass and uh, took part in all the challenges associated with that. You'll still have access to the Masterclass on the Coffee Break Academy and you can continue to access that there. But if you wanted to say, for example, do Coffee Break Spanish Season 4, then that would be a separate purchase on the Academy. If you wanted to take our uh, En Marcha course or our La Penultima Voluntad the advanced course, those are individual courses on the Coffee Break Academy. If, however, you wanted to maintain your intermediate level and do so with these videos, then that would be a completely separate subscription. That would be uh, the, the subscription that I've been talking about on the Coffee Break Club to allow you to access all of those videos within the club. So I hope that makes sense. Um, but of course, you can still go to the Academy and access all of the, uh, the materials that you bought for the Masterclass uh, back in 2019. Okay. If you do have any other questions, then I'm very happy to answer them. I am just about to get ready for the Coffee Break Italian live, which we're doing um, very soon. Uh, we have been running four lives today um, to explain uh, everything about the club and also to do a little bit of learning. Um, so we've got an Italian one just coming up on the, Cafe, the Coffee Break Italian Facebook page and YouTube channel. But if you're watching on Coffee Break Languages and want to do some Italian learning, then stick around because we're going to be doing that at quarter past six UK time, um, which will be quarter past one Eastern uh, and quarter past ten Pacific, I believe. Um, thank you very much indeed. Muchísimas gracias, como siempre. Y espero que todo esto haya sido útil e interesante. Y pues estaremos de vuelta con más Coffee Break Spanish muy pronto. Y si quieres uh, ser miembro del, del, del club, pues ya sabéis dónde está. Ya sabéis lo que tiene, tenéis que hacer. En actual fact, I have not told you what you have to do in order to sign up to the club. Um, if you visit coffeebreaklanguages.com slash club, and the team will post that in the, uh, the comments, you'll be able to see all the information about that and the links there will offer you either the possibility to sign up for a month uh, or to sign up for uh, a year. Now, what I will say as well is if you're not 100% sure if it's for you and you want to just sign up for a month at the moment, then do that and uh, just get in touch with us. If you decide, yes, I want to take advantage of the full year uh, at this special price. Now, the special price finishes tomorrow, but we will honour that 30% off if you're converting from a monthly to an annual membership within this first month um, if you sign up over the course of the next 20, 30 hours. Um, <laughs> we finish tomorrow at midnight, so um, 30 hours to go on this special promotion. 
Pues ya está. Muchas gracias. Thank you for joining us today. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed learning something along with me, with Concha, with Annabel. And we wish you a happy coffee breaking as ever. And we'll be back again soon with more. Muchas gracias y hasta la próxima. Thank you.